It's time for Doc and Friends, featuring Dr. Charette Shaw Fontenelle, Irma P., and Amanda M. Let's do part two of Why Can't I Lose Weight? Hey everybody, it's Dr. Shresh Alfonso, right there with you. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. I'd like to send out a special thank you to Dr. Adenike Akatoye for her input. Okay, we need to control our sugar intake and we need to watch our portion sizes. Read the label when it says one serving equals X amount of calories. What is a serving? is usually a lot less so if it says one cup this is a cup size drink is one cup so if it says one serving is 400 calories and one serving happens to be a cup but we actually have two cups on our plate well guess what you have just consumed 800 calories you can buy a food scale to measure your food For pastas, dry pasta, two ounces is considered a serving. Make sure you check out how the different pasta sizes affects how two ounces looks when you have it in a bowl, the dry pasta look. once you cook that up it is a different amount for the serving from what I've seen most pasta servings are from one to two cups depending on the pasta because pastas are different length there are different types of pastas let's talk about what we can swap for the carbs let's talk about carb swaps you can use baked pepperoni for chips you can use quinoa for rice, or you could use brown rice. You can use kale as a tortilla. A sweet potato instead of a white potato. You can have sweet potato fries or you can have carrot fries. These swaps can be quite tasty. You can find recipes on delish.com, allrecipes.com, thefoodnetwork.com, and many other sites. In the comments, let us know if you tried these recipes and what you think. other substitutions to consider. 
almond flour or wheat flour for white flour. For buns, you can use portobello mushrooms, or you can use um, lettuce. You can use um, mashed cauliflower in place of mashed potatoes. So far as noodles, you can get the veggie noodles. I've seen the spinach noodles. You can also use zucchini for your pizza crust. You can use sliced almonds for croutons. You can use um, cheese crisp for potato chips. Try to find sugar-free versions of the things you want. Caramel syrup, there's a sugar-free version. Hazelnut syrup, there's a sugar-free version. Jelly, there are a lot of sugar-free versions out there or greatly reduced sugar versions. What should you put on your plate on a daily basis? At least half should be filled with fruit and vegetables and whole grain. And remember, popcorn is a whole grain, so half of your plate should be whole grains and fruit. Here are some swaps for your alcohol consumption. Instead of rum and coke, try Diet Coke or Coke Zero. For your mojitos, try Diet Sprite or Diet Sierra Mist. Or for your beer, try light beer. For some of your favorite foods, I've looked up on my fitness pal the caloric content. I looked up macaroni and cheese, snicker bars, Jif peanut butter, and many others. You can go to myfitnesspal.com and see how your favorite foods stack up. In the comments, type 2020 if any of this information has been helpful. Let us know. Would you like to know more about? And remember, get that BIM, body in motion, to reduce that BMI. Look us up on Facebook at Charette Shaw Fontenelle, MD, for more information on nutritious snacks and great carb swaps. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Savage all day.